I probably could have went a little heavier than that. It's fine. Be ho the, the problem with holding is if I hold this, we could have a Judas swing down and open, and I might get stopped, you know? So, it depends. It's up to you guys. If I get like 15, 20 points, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna sell it. You know, I think that would be fine. 15, 20 points is pretty good. And then that would be just, I don't know, then maybe I could be done for the day or try to get another entry. I should have just logged down here. That's whatever. Yeah, equal highs in MNQ now. Might get south break even here. It's almost there. Maybe not, okay. This is that uh, interesting. <coughs> I, I don't even have a target, honestly. Like, my target's obviously gonna be this high up here, but I don't know if we're just gonna go right to it or not. And I might get south break even before it hits, which is fine because I don't want to mess with trying to get entries. All right, I'll stop the break even there. So I'll stop the break even there, which is fine. Um, I'm not chasing again. It's going to be very hard to chase this, but. Yeah, I got stopped there at break even, which is fine. Again, it's you guys got to realize it's very, very risky chasing up here. Um, I'm expecting to take losses if I do chase up here. At least I didn't take a loss there. I just took a stop at break even. But um, you do not want to be taking losses, taking chasing up here because you will regret it. Surprised we just didn't go for that high. What's up, Levi? Levi, are you going to long this 9 o'clock for a really gap in ES? Nine, yeah. It's probably good. It might give us one entry, but it might just run back with us. I would love a pullback, but I don't know if we're going to get it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. Someone asked my chart settings. It's so annoying sending chart settings. <clears throat> this is a 15 second inverse fair value gap. I don't long it so bad, but uh, it's probably not a good idea because it's a 15 second. I'm just going to see how it plays out. Yeah. Might be again this 
might be a very annoying day. And I apologize in advance if it is. Yeah, my bias is, did you see your next commentary, Aldrin? So CL, what do I think about CL? Yeah, CL, maybe I'll look for a long setup in this inverse or something. I know he hit buy side, but we hit internal buy side. But we'll look for a one minute setup out of here, maybe. Oh, yeah, Euro. I would love a long setup on Euro if we get it. Like down here. That'd be amazing, because we took south side here. This is, I, I hate seeing this in hindsight, because uh, it just looks like such a good turtle soup. Um, opens in 10 minutes. We have no more data today, right? All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to hop on this uh, trend sometime in this hold. I just don't know when. Fifteen, thirteen, twelve, fifteen, three, twelve, and then Q. And yes, I want the high. Yeah. Um, let me check YM real quick. So the other day I missed equal highs on YM. Yeah, we had equal highs right here, and I didn't realize it. If I saw this, I would have been a little more bullish. Um, and YM, see YM's interesting. I don't even like YM where it's at, but YM looks like it wants to go back to the high too. CL's in this little area where you can look for a long. Gold hit buy side. I had that marked out earlier. I forgot to let you guys know about that though. I still think I think there's a possibility gold runs up to here. Don't see any really good spot to long it yet. There's a five minute order block right here, but it hit buy side, so definitely a little more risky. Again, what I would love, love, love to see is a pull back to this for a reality gap and then get a long setup. Okay, no, I'm not going to blindly long it. I'm going to look for a confirmation long setup. So a second, second kind of setup, right? Um, something like get some structure and then mark a structure shift then for a reality gap. So that's what I kind of want. Again, I don't know if we're going to get that. We might not. But if we do, that's kind of what I'm gonna try a full size plan. <coughs> All right, market open in seven minutes.
relative equal lows in 263.7. Wait, 263. Oh. I don't think these that matter that much. Wait, 267. Oh, 267. Okay. Um, it probably wouldn't, today it probably wouldn't matter. So, TV Swap asked, what did I take along in ES or NQ today? It probably wouldn't matter. You can see we have a lot of low resistance liquidity here in ES. So, I think, or no, this is NQ. So, I think NQ would be fine, and I think ES would be fine, because I need ES as well. If you look at, like, the four hour, uh, we should go hit this high. So, I think it really depends on... What you prefer, but four four two eight six highs incoming. Eight six. What's eight six? All right here. Okay. All right, market open in um, five minutes. Again, like I would totally try along at this very rally gap just to try it if the market open wasn't this soon. Um, just because, what if this is the low of day right here? Like that could have literally been the low of day, which would suck, but there's really nothing you can do about that if it is. Yeah. All right, open in four minutes. Yeah, Leopard, give us your wisdom, bro. Yeah, that would be that would be a good first target. Let's say so. There's a new week opening gap, like BB King says, fifteen three hundred, uh, which kind of lines up with this liquidity pool. So that would be your first good target, like this black line. Uh, I already I already don't like this bounce. I should have just longed that and said fuck it. I will not take any full positions if we do not go down here. Okay, yeah, that's all I'm saying right now. I, that's why I hate these days so much. Cause this could have been low a day. Uh, all right, market open three minutes. Cloudy, where are we going today, bro? Cloudy said we we're gonna reject the Sibby, and he is wrong. And I recorded it, so I'm rec I'm I'm uploading that on my Twitter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, well, that's a weird candle. It looks like we got some low resistance liquidity here, actually. All right, what the hell is this candle? Bro, what is this candle? Interesting candle there and on cue. Market open in two minutes, that could be the reason why. Alright. Market open in two minutes. Let's see if it gives us an entry. Looks like we never got it. What does that mean anymore? 
Alright, one more minute, boys. Yeah, this is also the end of the quarter, just so you guys are warned. 27 seconds. See what happens here. Six seconds. All right, there's the open. Please don't be low a day, bro. Yeah, let's just pull back in this again this is a spot where it might work for long but I would not take it because I would rather have uh, down here for long if we got it we need to see this 15 minute order block violated Again, it's kind of weird because typically, so I would say typically, Friday would be trend day, and this is definitely trend day conditions, okay? But it's also the end of the quarter. So, um, it might be a little different than like a normal Friday because it's the end of the quarter. Damn it, stop balancing. No. See, this is the long where is, is this is going to work in hindsight, and I'll be like, oh, I wish I took that. Like, Same thing with the SES. Yep. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Yep. There's that long. I should have taken that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. So, do you guys. So, this 15 minute order block held perfectly, which sucks. Do you guys like see how in hindsight that was a textbook long, but it's not something you'd take really? Like, I don't know, it's just, I wish I should have taken that. Oh well, all right, well, I think we head for this new black line up here, 15,300. Yeah, that's like an email account trade. Yeah, we could still reverse here, but yeah, you should have. That's that was a good play, BB King. Again, I love an entry down here, but this literally might be low a day. Unfortunately, see this yes is still working. So there's high in yes. My guess is the reason why we probably don't go to this is because there's just an order block supporting it, right? You can see the more times I see this is when there's order block. So we had an order block here, and that's really when I don't see, like that's, uh, when we have these order blocks here, a lot of times we will not go back down to the fair value gap. So price just took up by a side and is kind of consolidating here. So far this one minute price action is not like A plus yet. ES looks much cleaner here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree. But like, no, I'm confident in the bias, but I'm not confident in an entry. If you get what I'm saying. Like you even saw me when I got on stream. So for you guys just joining the stream, I actually alerted along already. Uh, right here. And went about five points, and then I got top to break even. For you guys just joining. Fifteen seconds, very uh, choppy here. It almost looks like we are setting up low resistance liquidity, though. It's like micro low resistance liquidity in the fifteen second. So, still not bearish yet. Yeah, we're in trend day conditions right now, Aldrin. Okay, so there's some of that low resistance liquidity taken out. 15 second and one minute and every time frame does not look the greatest right now. Um, we got to pop it open, but since then nothing else has happened. So I'm already uh, kind of, kind of already weary of taking a funded account trade if I do, just cause I don't really like this open yet. There's not, the candles are not super clean. <laughs> all right, so all that low resistance liquidity was taken out, which is good. So you can see that micro low resistance liquidity is taken out. And it's still quite long. It's still quite high to be chasing here. I know the bias is bullish. I mean, it's really up to you if you want to chase at this point. I'm not going to say anything, but I, I know we're going to go for this high in the ass. The best possible entry would to be if this fairy rally gap closed in 23 minutes and we got like a pullback to here, I think. Um, or we just got about 25 points away from the week opening gap. Yeah, that's what I would say, BB King, too. You want this? So if you guys look, ideally this candle should keep expanding because there's an ord block here. Um, so when we create this and this candle closes green, obviously there's still seven minutes of the candle close. But if this candle remains like this, this candle should keep expanding up because this ord block here. Um, but there's seven more minutes of the candle. So I don't think seven minutes is I think seven minutes is a bit too long If it was more of like a two minute candle it would probably be a better long because then at least you can anticipate the candle closing above um, Very choppy price acts in the one minute for sure. There's a one minute word block right here. That's the next bullish PD array. <clears throat> One minute inverse holding it on Q. Oh, yeah, you're talking about this, right? Yeah, I see. Again, I just, I like to draw all these bullish PD arrays out, like this one, and now the sword block. Um, just to see, okay, are we going to keep holding them? And really the second we start to violate a few of them, that tells me we could probably get a move down here and then uh, that would give us a better long entry. I'm afraid these are going to keep holding. Like, I hope they don't, but... Yeah, this is this is just uh, hate seeing this work out because this is just a textbook long. I should have just slapped, but it was too high. That's why I hate these days. NQ price action is pretty bad right now. Um,
I'm still bullish on it, but it's probably a little harder to execute on this. I'm watching this inverse for a rally gap. There's still no close below it. If you guys, if you guys have an email account, um, this is definitely the place to where you start buying MNQ just average down. Like, probably not on a funded account, but definitely on an email account because this is still pretty bullish. And then you just try to hold the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm up pretty good on my email account already just from doing that. I literally kept averaging down and it just kept going up. So I'm already green on that. I don't know if I want to fund that account trade yet. Okay, they should hit this high now. See, see why? See why I can just like just keep longing and longing and it just keeps working. <coughs> There's no way this doesn't pull back soon, dude. Another ES five minute word block here. Again, I like to draw these out. Okay, so I did take down my email. Uh, I'm gonna scale some here. I'm still holding the rest though. I'm gonna try to get up here. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good strategy. I'm still holding some. I'm gonna see if I can sell up here. Stops at break even just for the rest. Again, because it's the end of the quarter, we might not get like a just straight up like we usually do in trend days. So I could gonna end up getting stopped out of this runner, which is fine. But nice Menti. Uh, yeah, BW, I started getting into my email like down here on these wicks. I was like, I was like, fuck it. There's no way we don't go up here. And it was also a 15 minute fair rally gap, or 15 second fair rally gap. I'll show you the 15. I'm just watching the 15 second, but you can see right here. Uh, started, I started seeing these and the bodies kept closing above, so I was like, uh, definitely time to be chasing on eBay right now, or just taking a position. Yeah, data in three minutes. I'm holding through the data, guys. Um, again, my stops are break even, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take one more off if we hit this and then I have one more left after that. Okay, I'm taking one more off here and I'm gonna try holding the rest. I'm just gonna, I know I want this line to hit. I'm gonna get out at the new week opening gap probably though.
almost there. Maybe the dad will give me my limit fill. All right, the data is in 20 seconds. Hey, don't get out yet. I'm market selling. I'm not, I'm gonna market sell probably. All right, I'm getting out here. There's the data, I don't know what's gonna happen now. Damn. Okay, so I'm out there. I still think we go higher to this line, but I'm just being safe. Um, I don't want to risk it. I like. Oh, I'm still mad. I should have went full size in there, and my fund did. All right, and there's the top line. So that was about almost a 50 point move. Probably 40 points since I said this is definitely the time to be longing on your evals. I said it, where did I say it? I said it like down here. Yeah, we've gone 40 point, 50 points since then. So I'm hoping you guys caught that. Oops. My screen stopped sharing. Sorry. Um, so yeah, there's the move. So hope you guys caught that. why the last few days in gold have been really annoying for me I've not been liking it no long setup on CL yet Did, see look how this looks so ugly it's like you is there even gonna be a confirmation long in this so you can see we had the perfect exit BB King you held all that right yeah, same. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> if now, if you're not, if you caught that, you're not an idiot. This is the time when you get off my live stream. Fifteen minutes in the open, and you go on about your day, and you come back Monday. Okay, that's what profitable traders will do. Okay, if you want to try and hold till ES hitting this high, then that's fine. But uh. No, you're not crazy to be honest. We're probably gonna go back to the high here. It was a 15 second inverse for everybody I got there. Yep, there it is. Oh, if you hit an MNQ, not an NQ. Hello? I'm still here. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I was saying we're probably gonna go back to the high and you're not you're not dumb for long in there Again, I still think we go higher. So This is a time where if you caught that I probably get off now um, Literally that was a 18 minute trading day for me um, And I literally do not need to trade the rest of the day and I did catch an options account, too. So um, Yeah I still think we go for this high. Okay, why do I think what for you new guys who don't who watched my video last night, why am I saying we go for this high?
Working on the night shift, baby. Bro, everyone, all right. Yeah, so you new guys who are wanting to learn. Okay, why am I saying the draws is high? Why did I say that this morning? No, I already said it this morning in Isometry like 15 points ago, Cloudy. So I'm not just saying this now. Yeah, all PDAs are being, are being respected. And where are we delivering from? Yeah, exactly. Because we're delivering from the fair value gap from an inefficiency, what do I say in my thread? I say that the draw always has to be the next high. So that's it. By the way, I'm curious, type one if you caught any longs off that. Okay, good. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I'll probably just chill here now. Um, next potential long setup I'd be looking for a confirmation setup out of is probably this five minute for rally really gap, but I'm not even interested. I'm already done for the day. Um, Mark this orb block here, right? These two down close candles for this up move. I'm not gonna lie, CD. I did take a long on my fund did it before open, and uh, yeah, I just held it. I didn't say anything about it though. What do you say? Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's not for risk management purposes, it's for clout cloud purposes. All right, this is probably, so there's a bearish for a rally gap here in the 15 second. Let's tape read this. Let's see if, it, all right, so this is your long. Let's see if this works. Fifteen second inverse. Uh, very good idea. <laughs> very good idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they have to be 90% off. Yeah, I know. Wait, when the regulations for funded accounts come in? Oh. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, this 15 second inverse failed. Rip. Yeah, I've, been, I've just been watching the 15 second, and a lot of the plays I've been watching, like, they've worked. It's just been a little sloppier than normal. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you just get a really good fill. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're again. I'm almost I'm 99% confident we still go back to the highs here. I know the inverse for like it was violated, but I still think we go back to the highs here. So there's the first high. <coughs> Working on the net. Bro, imagine having an 18 minute trading day. I think that's the quickest I've been that green that quick. Um, everyone go look at this tweet about the link. Um, one second, let me upload this. Well, give me one second, guys. Everyone look at Okay wait one second. Hello, hello, can you guys hear me? Type one if you can hear me. Hello, quick testing, testing, testing. Okay. Alright, um so everyone go look at the tweet that I posted the Desi trades last night. That was not hindsight. So do you, do you guys understand why his trade is probably going to fail? Hello, can you guys hear me? Goonie? Bro, can you guys hear me? I don't think, not a lot of people type up one. Yeah, I gotta disconnect one second. All right, now can you guys hear me? Hello? Then why do you say anything, bro? All right, I, st I still think we go back for this high. Working. Uh They're like, they're not super close, but they're decent. And the macro? Oh, uh, yeah. Possibly. But I don't know if it's going to be a huge reversal with the trend day. I 
I suppose. I have no idea. There's uh, some interesting val there's some interesting volatility coming in, boys. Probably from the news. Wait, wasn't that data? That was data though, wasn't it? I got to update index commentary. I uh, gotta realize this morning the first thing I wrote is I think it's gonna be a slow grind day up, and we've gone a lot since then. So even if we don't hit the final target, still uh, pretty smart to just be scaled out here, or whatever. You gotta do what? Yeah. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. <sighs> Still engineering a lot of liquidity up here. Again, I'm not logging, I'm done. Uh, I'm just gonna take a brief for now. Uh, any fun plans for this weekend? Levi, are you still here? Levi, hello. I don't think Levi. Oh, Levi's definite, bro. Somewhat. Everyone at Levi. And there's that, and oh, never mind. I was about to say there's that. Rip. So all this liquidity pool was taken out. That was just a scalp there, like just off this inverse. That was a scalp in itself. How many points? Are there? That was a ten point scalp off that inverse. We should still hit this high guessing it's been a rick That you should be all out here. Spin a rig, wake.
I don't know. I seriously don't know. I thought I thought not, but Dawn to dusk, get a red, red, red. So, I still think we go higher, but um, I don't know. Probably not smart to line up here now. It's better, Rick. Me, me. Yeah, if you guys are green, get off my stream. Yo, what's up, John? <laughs> All right, Matt, let's go. It's been week, week, week. <laughs> All right, good job. Uh, well, I had I marked this line earlier and said we're probably gonna go. I still think we go higher in gold. Um, remember when I said don't fade the V shape? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, this one, so this one, I wouldn't mind looking for a short setup out of though. If my, especially if my daily's draw is right. But if we violate this, then I think we're gonna go for this high up here. Only if you violate this. So this is gonna be my next condition. So if we violate this, look for a long up to this high. If you get a short out of it, I'd probably think it's worth a try. this one because there's another one above it so what if we close above this we could literally easily reject this so the risk reward is not good but if you look at this one is there any other fair value gaps above here that are unclosed nope so the risk reward is much better yeah and then and euro i would be looking for a long i don't know if we're gonna get it though i was look i i I had my phone up to see if we could get this, but I don't think we will. <laughs> Maybe if you get like a one minute inverse here, I would short it. Uh, but other than that, I'd be more interested in the long. And. Yeah, four hour. Check out sell side inside for free gap. Bodies held it. Okay, so because the bodies held it, this is bullish. Okay. 
and just this overall thing just looks like a buy curve up to these highs so and it does look like we're Yeah, exactly. When we take out sell side and the body's holding old fair value gap, that's a just a very strong bull signal. Yep. It's been a rig. Okay. Still think we go back to the highs because this market is so bullish. care about low resistance including on trend days. I just laughed that long. <laughs> uh, this market's so funny. <laughs> All right, now I'm done. It's... All right, boys. Nah, I mean, I already, I already said. I bet you. I already said I think we go back to the highs. I was like, I think we go back to the highs. I was, like, I was already saying that, but I'll I'll be clear about it. Um, yeah, Romeo was a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I added him. I was like, I like, I like a reply from you, Romeo. Guys, I see Tweet just tweeted. I see Tweet tweeted four four nine four buy side juicy. He's in the stream right now. Bro, leopard, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that, dude.
I think it was, you know that was a joke, right? He follows me. If y'all want to chase a chase ten M, ten ES contracts here, no stop loss. You'll bank. Kidding, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do that. 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 It will. It will. It will work. Is it stupid? Yes. Will it work? Yes. Is it stupid? Yes. Should you not do it? Yes. Nah, because the thing is, if you guys chase here and this candle doesn't expand to buy side, like even ICT thinks buy side's up here. Oops. But what if we, what if we come down to here, what if we come up to here and we don't come back down here? Like, that would be awful. Because then you get your trailing drawdown stopped. Yeah, because you know where price is going, but we pull back and it, uh, you get stopped. That's happened to me a few times too. Can everyone hear me? Sorry, I had to, I actually left. All right, do you guys want to log this word black here? Type one for yes, two for no. W D Y S. <laughs> okay.
By the way, guys, this order block long worked. Gave us two points, so if you long the 50 S cons, you should be up a lot of money right now. Hell no. I am Caleb. <laughs> Let's go! Alright. Alright, you guys should, uh... 10 yes contracts sell here. That was probably 5000 a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. If we reverse back to... If we dump 100 points... If we dump 100 points here, you guys all got a vouch that I called it on Twitter. Yes. <sighs> it's funny. Like, you guys, I know this, that was a joke, but I was like, should we long this OB? But you can see it's a bullish PD array. Next bullish PD array is where? Right here. Next bullish PD array is where? Right here. Next bullish PD array is where? Right here. Right here. And you should just see they all get respected. All right, that's just the trend in conditions, and we knew that from the open. Yeah. Uh, four, four, nine, four. Yeah. Same thing I said this morning. You think you're the king? <laughs> no one's gonna get that reference besides a few people. Uh, no. Here back.
Bro, Dart, what happened? Yeah, what happened to the Reds? Hello, sir, Dart. How's it going? Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Where are you going on vacation? I'm going on a, just so you guys know, I'm going to be on a cruise the 15th through 23rd, so two weeks. And Leopard will be live, and probably Levi. Yeah. Exactly. I love food. I live for good food. Yeah. Sick. I never get sick. No, this is horrible. It's gonna fail. Never take a bearish fair belly gap on a trend day on Friday. Out of options, does.
Yeah. That's what I have. That's what I have.
Alright, we can we can uh, continue this discussion in after hours chat. <laughs> Alright, um so really I don't I'm done for the day. I'm just I'm just chilling here. Um We left equal highs and yes, yeah, so you guys know what that means. It means I'm probably gonna save them for later. Um there's a three minute fair value gap here, or four minute fair value gap here in NQ. So five, it's not a five minute fair value gap. Um, again, we already hit bias in NQ, so we know this would be a bad long, but if it works, we wouldn't be surprised, but you wouldn't take it. Um, so five minute OB down here. <laughs> yeah, just kind of, just kind of chilling here, you know? Yeah, same. Uh, you can see this inverse worked nicely. It never actually broke the high, but at least we hit the high. Um, you can see when we, if you guys are looking at my screen, I actually wrote in the chat. I said, close above. You should be, so you can violate it. We got to close above and then uses an inverse. And obviously this only delivered three points, which is nothing, but um, this, this was a strong close below. Even though this was only a two tick close above, relative to these candles, I'd consider this a strong close above. Just because, I don't know, it just looks like one. <sighs> All right. Just a five minute order block. No, the Biden loan plan. Wait, so that's bad for me, right? Isn't that bad for me? Damn it. I don't even care about that law. That'll just be nice. <laughs> it's obviously a bad law. It's a bad law, and I'm saying that as a college student, but it'd be nice for me. You know? All right, so again, I like to mark out every bullish PDRA. This is the last one we have. Same thing with this four minute fit, really. Yep. Nice reaction from the four minute fair value gap. Inverse right here, yeah. Again, you guys know you would never short any of these, ever, 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 ever. You never short these, ever. If you do, you need more studying. You guys know why you want to short them, right? Yep. Even if they work, 
I don't care if they work. You should never take these. Uh, definitely not because I definitely did not already long the four minute fair value yet. <laughs> I don't know. It it's really up to you. Um Uh, it depends on if you're feeling frisky or not. <laughs> I still think I keep going up. I just don't want a big pullback first. Because that would obviously mess up. I'm going to obviously below this for me, I guess, my stop. But this is technically the this is technically the confirmation setup. But I'm not, I'm not advertising to take this. Um, I'm not saying to take this. Please do not take this. Ouch. What is Bearish or bullish? No. Interesting. Gotcha. Again, I like my confirmation setups, but this confirmation setup is a bit too high in my opinion. This is uh, more depending on if you're super green or not, you take this. Like if you're super green, I would try it light, but if you're Red, hell no, I would not take this. And if you're break even, I would not take this. Like, if this fails, I'll totally know why. It's because we're too high. So it's just, it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Yo, Levi, where you, where have you been, bro? You're, you're in a short on yes. I don't know. I this is something that I don't short, but it might work. Where are you targeting four four? Okay. Yeah, right here I see. I I mean there's two equal lows here, which is five handles, but see these lows right here. Would this be five handles? Oh, uh, uh. I have no idea. I'm uh, I'm in a long. Yeah, my sauce to break even. <laughs> I got a really nice fill. I longed the four minute fair value gap. Yeah. No, yeah, that totally makes sense. Cause you're going against the draw. If a body closes under this, I'm gonna get out. I mean, I let, this is one of those longs where, like, if it works, it's like, yeah, whatever. But it's not one I take. All right. It's just, I don't like shorting on Fridays and trend days. Friday trend day conditions, not nah, I I used to try to short even for like counter trend scalps, I used to try to short all the time and I just they never worked, so I was like, yeah, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Is the student debt loan, like, is that technically good or bad news for the market? Like, if I knew how to guess. Okay. I, I was just generally wondering.
Alright. Um, if you took this long, I'd probably... I'd probably move your stop loss to break even now. Because we should ideally, if this should work, we should just pop right up here. I mean, the bright, stop, the bright spot to move it to break even is once we hit this high. But... If my bias is right, we should hit this in like two seconds. So that's why you move your south break even now, especially if you got a good fill down here. The play just the play did just hit nine points, so I don't know, it's up to you. My stops not my I I move my stop up, so Yeah, my stop's in profit because I don't like the way yes is looking. need this to be closed above obviously this is not a fair rally gap bet over short but if it works it's just like yeah it's whatever I wouldn't be surprised it's just a strong v-shaped BPR formation that's the only reason I have it drawn out damn it yes is probably gonna stop me out here come on yes Please hold. And I'm about to get stopped. Yeah, whatever. So I just got stopped there in profit. That's yeah, whatever. So, um, this might still work, but yes, it's definitely looking bearish at the moment. The body did unfortunately just close under this, so this is probably going to be used as an inverse now. But I wouldn't short it as an inverse just because I don't like shorting on days like these. Thoughts on gold? Yeah, it was going to be bearish, but we didn't violate this. We had a perfect bounce off it. I'm watching this survey I got to see if we violate it. Bro, I can't believe this works. I hate when these work. Because a bunch of noob ICG traders would probably just won on this trade and be like, oh my god. Yeah, I know. But the draw's up. The draw's up. Would ICT short this? Probably not. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, well, there's the five panel target on ES. Almost. Next spot I think we could pull back to is maybe down here. If we get it, and then you look for another long for this five minute fair value gap. <coughs> so there's the five panel short on ES. Um, again, I would never have taken this. I never would have sorted this. This is just, this is a very, very hit or miss play. And we also had equal highs above too. So, yeah, good point. See, that's why, see, like, when we get, like, this move, like, as soon as we, even though we don't hit this high, it just, you want to put your stop break even after a move like that, because if I'm right, we will pop up right to this high. If I'm wrong, we will go back down and we'll just dump. So that's why you move your stop to break even so quickly in a play like that. And that's more of a screen time thing. That's not really an ICT thing. Um, that's more of, like, a risk management screen time thing, being, like, okay, really, if this were to work we should just violate this right away if not um you're gonna get south to break even and let's say you didn't get south to break even there you would have gotten stopped for a loss anyway so that's why i say move your south to break even so quick on that um so something very interesting about this is we did just hit discount but I don't know if there's a fair, there's not a fair value gap here, but we did just hit the discount array.
Here's another favorite leg up. I would not short. I don't care if it works. Uh, no. Uh, I don't care. This, this is CE. So this is CE of a wick. If you guys look very, very carefully, this is CE. You just bounce off of. Alright, I'm probably going to get off in like 10 minutes, by the way, guys. This price action is boring. I'm tape rating this inverse. I'm watching it. I, I would expect this inverse to work as a long, but it's, it's hard to long way up here, you know. About the inverse of the one minute line. Yeah, see, this is. I'm just tape reading this for now. I mean, I, if I had to guess, I'll think it was going to work, but if I'm not taking it, that means I don't have 99% confidence this is going to work. And it's just because we're pretty high right now. So it's just like, I don't know. Don't love it. Same thing with it's like an inverse plus BPR. Like, this is just one of those things where, yeah, we're kind of high. If it works, I won't be surprised at all, but. Nah, I'm not. I'll tell you if I'm not taking it. I won't tell you if I am taking it. I'll tell you if I'm not taking it, and I'm not taking this. I'll always say if I'm not taking something, and I'll be like completely honest about that. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, I, so I kind of hinted at it and said, I was like, this morning I said, this is definitely the spot you want to take like an eval long right now. It was like down, uh, it was pretty down far. And I said I was in an eval long and it went like 50 points. And yeah, that was the only thing I kind of said. So I know a lot of people called that. So this is working so far, which again, I'm not surprised it's working. It really, ideally, like I said, it should. I'm just not confident enough to take it. Really, if it hits this high, this would be, I would consider this a success. success. <clears throat> Will it be a success or a failure? And it is a not a success yet. All right. Well, it was a success, so it worked. I, like I said, I'm not surprised. It should have worked really. Um, so, yeah, it delivered ten points. Oh, you could have taken that, but like I said, I'm done for the day. I don't really care what happens at this point. We gotta leave in like five minutes, anyways. Like, this is just one of those days where once you're done, you're done. You know, you want to be done. Uh, yeah, makes sense.
It's like you see all the short entries, but you know the draws up. So like it's like, oh, please don't work, please don't work. Yeah.